G-force in a lot of ways, all of this with AI is the house that G-force built. G-force enabled AI to reach the masses. And now, AI is coming home to G-force. There are so many things that you can't do without AI. Let me show you some of it now. That was real-time computer graphics. No computer graphics researcher, no computer scientist would have told you that it is possible for us to ray trace every single pixel at this point. We, ray tracing is a simulation of light. The amount of geometry that you saw was absolutely insane. It would have been impossible without artificial intelligence. There are two fundamental things that we did. We used, of course, programmable shading and ray traced acceleration to produce incredibly beautiful pixels. But then we have artificial intelligence be conditioned, be controlled by that pixel to generate a whole bunch of other pixels. Not only is it able to generate other pixels spatially because it's aware of what the colors should be, it has been trained on a supercomputer back in NVIDIA, and so the neural network that's running on the GPU can infer and predict the pixels that we did not render. Not only can, can we do that, it's called DLSS, the latest generation of DLSS also generates beyond frames. It can predict the future, generating three additional frames for every frame that we calculate. What you saw if we just said four frames of what you saw, because we're going to render one frame and generate three, if I said four frames at full HD, 4K, that's 33 million pixels or so, out of that 33 million pixels, we computed only two. It is an absolute miracle that we can computationally, computationally using programmable shaders and our ray traced engine, ray tracing engine, to compute 2 million pixels and have AI predict all of the other 33. And as a result, we're able to render at incredibly high performance because AI does a lot less computation. It takes, of course, an enormous amount of training to produce that, but once you train it, the generation is extremely efficient. So this is one of the incredible capabilities of artificial intelligence, and that's why there's so many amazing things that are happening. We used GeForce to enable artificial intelligence, and now artificial intelligence is revolutionizing GeForce. Everyone, today we're announcing our next generation, the RTX Blackwell family. Let's take a look.
Here it is. Our brand new GeForce RTX 50 series Blackwell architecture. The GPU is just a beast. 92 billion transistors, 4,000 tops, four petaflops of AI, three times higher than the last generation ADA. And we need all of it to generate those pixels that I showed you. 380 ray tracing teraflops so that we could, for the pixels that we have to compute, compute the most beautiful image you possibly can. And of course, 125 shader teraflops. There is actually a concurrent shader teraflops as well as an integer unit of equal performance. So two dual shaders. One is for floating point, one is for integer. G7 memory from Micron, 1.8 terabytes per second, twice the performance of our last generation. And we now have the ability to intermix AI workloads with computer graphics workloads. And one of the amazing things about this generation is the programmable shader is also able to now process neural networks. So the shader is able to carry these neural networks and as a result, we invented neural texture compression and neural material shading. As a result of that, you get these amazingly beautiful images that are only possible because we use AIs to learn the texture, learn the compression algorithm, and as a result, get extraordinary results. Okay, so this is, this is uh, the brand new RTX Blackwell 5090. Now, even, even, the, even the mechanical design is a miracle. Look at this, it's got two fans. This whole graphics card is just one giant fan. You know, so the question is, where's the graphics card? Is it literally this big? The voltage regulator design is state-of-the-art, incredible design. The engineering team did a great job. So here it is. Thank you. Okay, so those are the speeds and feeds, so how does it compare? Well, this is RTX 4090. I know, I know many of you have one. I know it. Look, it's $1,599. It is one of the best investments you could possibly make. You, for $1,599, you bring it home to your $10,000 PC Entertainment Command Center. Isn't that right? Don't tell me that's not true. Don't be ashamed. It's liquid cooled. Fancy lights all over it. You lock it when you leave. It's, it's the modern home theater. It makes perfect sense. And now for $1,500 and $1,599, you get to upgrade that and turbocharge the living daylights out of it. Well, now with the Blackwell family, RTX 5070, 4090 performance at 549. Impossible without artificial intelligence. Impossible without the four tops, four terops of AI tensor cores impossible without the G7 memories. Okay, so 5070, 4090 performance, $549, and here's the whole family. Starting from 5070 all the way up to 5090. 5090, twice the performance of a 4090. Starting, of course, we're producing at very large scale availability starting January. Well, it is incredible, but we managed to put these incredible, in gigantic performance GPUs into a laptop. This is a 5070 laptop. For $1299, this 5070 laptop has a 4090 performance. I think there's one here somewhere. Let me show you this. This is a, look at this thing. Here, let me, let, here. There's only so many pockets. Ladies and gentlemen, Janine Paul. So can you imagine 
you get this incredible graphics card here, Blackwell. We're going to shrink it and put it, in, put it in there. Does that make any sense? Well, you can't do that without artificial intelligence. And the reason for that is because we're generating most of the pixels using, pixels using our tensor cores. So we ray trace only the pixels we need, and we generate using artificial intelligence all of the other pixels we have. As a result, the amount of the energy efficiency is just off the charts. The future of computer graphics is neural rendering, the fusion of artificial intelligence and computer graphics. And what's really amazing is, oh, here we go. Thank you. This is a surprisingly kinetic keynote. And, and uh, what's really amazing is the family of GPUs we're going to put in here. And so the 5090, the 5090 will fit into a laptop, a thin laptop. That last laptop was 14.9 14, 14 millimeters. You got a 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the RTX Blackwell family.